Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to America Defender. So today, it's just going to be a quick little video. I'm going to show you guys how to fill the AEA Zeus uh, Gen 2 from empty. All right, which is a little different than just a standard fill. Um, we did the, the trigger on this thing in my last video on the Zeus. Replaced it and I just haven't filled it since then. Um, this thing sat actually now for about a month, two months, just empty. Okay. And I want to fill it back up now. So I've got my tank here. I've got my one cubic foot Omega tank. That's how we're going to fill it right, right here. Okay. And what we're going to do here, first thing we're going to do. Um, of course, we're going to check our tank, make sure we have enough air to fill it in our tank. Um, when you're filling these from empty, especially with a pump, do you want to do this? Uh, because if you go to fill this with a pump from dead empty, it'll just sit there because there's nothing there to hold the valve shut. There's no pressure behind it to fight the hammer spring. So what you want to do when you go to fill it, before you fill one of these from empty, is you want to cock it, all right, and then put the safe on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cock it. All right, and by doing that, we're going to come down here and put the safety on. By doing that, what we've done is we have pulled the hammer away from the valve. All right, so there, there's, there's, the valve is able to seal up. And then up top, see how we can do this here. I have my fill right here. All right, it's right up in here. Actually, we should probably put those down. All right, it's right there. So we're just going to hook our hose up to it, and then, you know, of course, beware of the muzzle. When you go to fill this, keep it pointed. Make sure the gun's, of course, unloaded, pointed in a safe direction, you know, all that stuff. Uh, make sure all your hoses are in good shape and everything. Um, one thing I have found, as you can see right here, um, is they don't really give you a whole lot of room get this thing on and off especially when you have a bipod attached um, and that's on the 16 inch model if this wasn't a 16 inch model you'd have plenty of room you, you do have some room here though but we've got to get this in here and from what I remember doing this now this is this is pertinent to my equipment one of these ends of this hose will fit this air fitting and the other one won't <laughs> it's they they made the air fitting a really weird size uh so let's go ahead and see if, if this one will go on there yep see that one went right on there okay so we got it on there you want to make sure that the sleeve goes down all the way over the little ball bearings on your sleeve on your quick connects all right so we're gonna leave it we're gonna we're gonna set it aside here all right and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to crack this i can see my gauge all right, and I'm not going to do a full fill on this because I'm not getting ready to shoot it, but I do want to put some air in there to kind of keep some compression on the seals. And we're also going to leak check it right now, okay, uh, since we did a repair on it. So let's go ahead and see what we got. I got 4,000 PSI in this tank. Okay, so she's filling. And again, if you go to do this and you hear a coming out the barrel, and you'll know if you hear it because it'll, you know, it'll be loud. Uh, cock the gun. All right. So we got a thousand psi in there now. Let's see here. We are filling at a rate of. Let's see here. This says this big gauge I have here. I believe this is. Uh, Two, two, three, two, nine, eight. It looks like two seventy bar. We are at twenty five hundred psi, approaching three thousand psi now. I only had four thousand psi in this tank, so it should kind of uh, equal out at about that pressure. But I don't need to go to that pressure. There's thirty five hundred. Yeah, 
trailer to come up and the needle has slowed okay we're sitting just above four now that's good enough okay so i'm going to go ahead and twist my valve down on my tank and i'm going to bleed it it's going to hiss at me up here keeping my fingers away from that trigger detach my hose and now I've got to decock this thing because I don't want it sitting around cocked so we're gonna have to push the safety in pull this back hold tight on this because it's gonna want to jump forward on you and actually I kind of pull back on it and then just ease it on up and there we are we are full now I'm gonna take my ear See if I have any obvious leaks. And I don't. So you don't hear anything. So uh, we now have filled it to, what was this? Oh, about, oh, we filled it to 150 bar. That's what it took. It was 150 bar from empty with a, a one cubic foot tank filled to 4,000. Um, let's see what it did to our tank. So we're going to let this sit. I'm actually going to let this sit a few days and watch that, okay, and see what it does, kind of like I did with my Challenger. I'm, I've, I've been doing like a six-month-long uh, air leak test on that, and so far it hasn't lost anything, okay. So uh, let's see here. We were at 4,000, and uh, we are still at 4,000. Well, just under 4,000, around 3,900. So we didn't take a whole lot out of this tank to fill that from dead empty to, what did I say it was, 3,500 roughly, 150 bar. Uh, yeah, a little bit over 150 bar, just a, just a tick over it. The tank is warm. Uh, so I'm going to conduct a leak test. It'll take me a while on it. Um, you know, how many times I, I dry fired this thing, I was kind of worried that it might leak, but it isn't leaking. So that's how you do it from empty. Okay. Make sure you cock it and then fill it up. Now, if I wanted to fill it from here, like, let's say I had a thousand PSI in it. Okay. I don't have to cock it. I just plug into it. The only time you really have to cock it is when it's empty. Um, and that's just to get the pressure off of the valve. But now that we have like almost 3,500 PSI up against that valve, it's fighting that spring off. So there you guys go. I know I haven't been doing much air gun content as of lately. We've been busy working on the scooter and talking politics and conspiracy theories and aliens and RC cars and all sorts of other stuff. Um, Mostly because I've been trying to find a place that will let me shoot this thing at their range. Because the range that I normally go to, that I'm a member of, has told me now that I'm not allowed to shoot this there. Because it's 72 caliber. But yet, I can go there and shoot a 308. I can go shoot an M1A, no problem. It, it makes zero sense. Of course, it's a government-owned range. It's owned by Arizona Game and Fish. So, yeah, no, of course, it's not going to make sense. So with that, I'm out of here. Hopefully, this helps somebody out there. Uh, with that, I'll see you on the flip. Bye now.